Hello, LBP Media here bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. Today I am going to be looking at cannons and in particularly condensing a charge. Now keep in mind this is for the average server. We're not going to be looking at supercharging using hundreds of blocks of TNT, but rather I'm going to be showing you a little tip that can really help boost efficiency of a cannon. Right, first off I'll just run through making a simple cannon. Okay, the pig wants to help. The first thing you'll notice about the new cannon is the two extra blocks behind the source block. Usually you would have these two covered up, but in this I am going to be leaving them there. In fact, I may even make a third one. Okay, now the next part and the crucial part for the tutorial is the bit at the back. We are going to be wanting to create some redstone around here and put that off here. Now we want any TNT back here to go off before the rest of it. So we are going to add a delay to the TNT in the front section. And to do that all I'm going to do is place a repeater there and attach this all up. So we press that, this goes off, we wait a little bit, this goes off and then we wait an even longer bit and this goes off. Okay, so when we set off a cannon, what we're actually doing is making an explosion that fires this block of TNT forward. Now, depending on where the TNT is, it provides a different amount of power to the block at the front. This TNT will provide more power because it is closer. The block behind it will give slightly less and so on up until about 7 which is here. Anything after 7 doesn't provide much power at all. So what we really want to do is make the TNT as close as possible to the front. And one way we can do that is with condensing. If we put a charge back here or if we put a couple back here and we have these explode before these do these charges can push these forward, which will ultimately provide more power to the block at the front. Okay, I'm now going to demonstrate that with a cannon. We're not going to put any condensing charge at the moment, but we are going to go all out with TNT. We're going to create a reference shot. So, we'll set that off. Hopefully it will land in this area here. Yeah, that one fell a bit short. It should have really landed over here. I've tested this before, but cannons do fluctuate. We'll head back over now and add a condensing charge. Exact same shot. All we're changing now is putting the condensing shots at the back. Okay. Right, you can see that went much further. It didn't even land before it exploded. It did, however, go to around about this area, maybe a little bit back, but you know, like I said, they do fluctuate. You could get it to land, but the basic idea I want to get across with this is that it went much further than it did without the condensing charges. Now, some people may be thinking, well, in the second shot you did use more TNT. Yes, in truth, we only used about 8 in the first one and about... 11 was it in the second one but if we had just put one block here and then 10 blocks in a row here it would not have gone as far as that it is the method that we are using with the condensing charges that is making the TNT go that extra mile it really does work and that is the end of it I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I hope it's helped this method can be used in a whole range of varieties I probably didn't apply it in the most effective way there, but you get the basic idea. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like my video, please check out my channel. I've got many more tutorials. If you want me to make more canon videos, please put in the comments below. If you don't, that's fine. But if you do want to check out more Minecraft videos, my channel is there. Even if you don't, thank you for watching and goodbye.